both using his arm and his legs? Um, I feel like it's something you just have to be aware of. I don't feel like you need to adjust it, but it's definitely something that you have to always keep in aware of. Like, hey, this quarterback will pull the ball. He will try to make something happen with his legs, but it doesn't kind of it doesn't really slow anything down for the same game plan for last week was a, uh, outstanding. I don't feel like we're gonna see a better running quarterback than Taylor Hurts. From like I said, almost if not, he probably reached that game 1,300 rushing yards of the year. So it's just something you always keep in mind while either rushing the quarterback or you're playing a zone read that he can pull the ball. I mean, I trust my athleticism that I won't be outran by him. But at the end of the day, like I said, he, he has deceptive speed. I've watched him play. He's, he's, a very, he's a great athlete. So it's just something we always wear up. We don't really kind of put too much focus on it. Though. So in the Peach Bowl, did, did you drop any coverage at all? Yes, I did. You, you did some? What would you say the percentage was for the plays you were in? Maybe twenty percent, mm -hmm. maybe. So a lot less than, a lot, much, yeah. much less, than much less than I had in the past. How much? Uh, I know John Trey, we've been running this Trevor Lawrence for y'all. How, you know, good of a look has that been? You know, having an athlete like that as the scout team QB. Probably too good. Of a look. <laughs> <laughs> Today he, he cooked me on two plays, man, back to back. But I feel like that's it's great to have him. I was actually, I actually told him to play running back for the case that they have the special running back they have, but. Like it just stresses. It just stresses how important this game is going to be about always keeping that in mind that this quarterback can pull the ball and make explosive plays off of it. Don't take it for granted. So, I mean, luckily that John Trey in my eyes is a better athlete than Trevor Lawrence. So, as far as speed wise, agility and elusiveness, so it's kind of making practice harder than it'll be in the game. And John Trey kept preaching me that all week. He's like, bro, I'm, it's going to be much harder in practice in the game. I'm, it's going to be slowed down so much. So, but I mean, it's kind of it's kind of it's helpful. But probably, I wouldn't say too helpful, but <laughs> it's kind of making me look bad. But I know it's not going to be like that in the game. So, uh, but I'm, I'm it's, it's really helping me a lot, though. And I know he's like run scout team for y'all uh, at QB a couple times this season. Just I know he didn't get to play as much as some of the other guys, but you know, do you get the sense that he kind of really values that role? And oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Literally after every play, John Dre is telling me like either what he sees that's open that we need to look at or to check and see that we need to make sure to look at him and get that covered or he's letting me know like if I'm covering the zone read the speed option he's like man look I'm gonna press it I'm gonna press it and make you make you bite on it then I'm gonna fake the pitch or I'm gonna pitch and I'm gonna just get him I'm gonna get an extra number y'all so he's telling me how to play it and what's gonna stop it and that's literally after every play and I'm, I'm grateful for it so like I said I don't think Trevor Lawrence in my eyes I mean may, I, it's probably be different in the game but I don't think he's a better athlete than John Trey so I mean, it's, like I said, it's making it hard in practice. He values it so much. He'd be excited when he comes down and do practice for scout team for us. From a weapons perspective, you know, running backs, receivers, do you equate this Clemson defense or offense to any other offense you guys have faced this year? Um, probably Bama's, yeah. but in my eyes, probably better than Bama's. I mean, Bama had could I feel like this running back is better than Alabama's running back. I mean, no knock against him, but Travis, he's a he's a special back, man. I'm just watching him on film, but he hit holes, man. He's he's explosive, he's a loser, man. He can get like his acceleration is amazing. So I mean from having great receiver core, running back and quarterback, you just gotta look out for everything. You can't just not account for someone because then that'll make you pay for it. The Alabama running back had a big second half against you guys. I guess kind of what's the <coughs> focus of trying to stop, you know, obviously Trevor from beating you with his legs, but also with, with Travis as well? I thought it's going to be more so. I feel like we're a great run defense team. So I feel like what we what we kind of take for granted is when we stop the run first half, we feel like teams are either going to stop running the ball or not run them plays as much. And that's what Bama did. It kept running the plays, and we kind of started slacking off and not paying attention to the small details, and then he started gaining his yards. So it's going to be about playing hard through all fourth quarters and holding your job, doing your job. Were you one of those players after the Ole Miss game who spoke, spoke up uh, team meetings and stuff like that? Yeah, oh, correct. What, what did you, the essence of what you wanted to say? And did the, has the message got across? It seemed like it probably has. It was just more so just about your pride. I mean, pride. I mean, Coach O has it. I mean, after that game, Coach O had to lift us up. He was like, man, we won, but it felt like we lost that game. Just the defense got embarrassed. And it just, I mean, even though Coach Aranda kind of takes the blame, but at the end of the day, it's still kind of us. Like, we the ones playing. So we were just talking about the pride and just like, you know what I'm saying? At this point, like, what do you, like, what are you playing for? Just, you don't, that's the literally, 
that, the quarterback on that team was literally the offense. It wasn't no other player kind of doing anything except him. So, like, if you put it in your mind that you're not going to let this play happen no more or you're going to not let this player do anything more, it's like it shouldn't happen. So it was about just really about so your pride, just taking a stand for something, just, man, just playing hard regardless of what scoreboard say or regardless of the next play or the, the previous play. Play the next play like that didn't happen. So... I mean, spoke about it. It got to, it got through, so it got through a couple of people, and now we changed it, turned it around. And, and you said before that maybe guys were sometimes maybe trying to do a little too much. I guess how do you get away from that? How do you kind of get guys to just do their job? Like I said, I feel like it just comes with people being healthy. So, like I said, when you got some, when you got a lot of people not who don't have too much game experience, or in my eyes, let's say there's not a starting safety out there. So now you're thinking in your head like, man. I know such and such probably don't know as much as the starting safety, so I probably need to do a little bit of his job to make sure that we kind of stay on point. But when you start focusing on other people's job, then you start losing on your job. Then now somebody else trying to make up for your job and losing. It's just, it's all about just, you know what I'm saying, like the healthiness of the team and the cohesiveness that we all, all 11 are playing. So when you feel like everybody, all the starters are starting, you know that they're going to do their job regardless of what the situation is, then it's the full confidence and everybody worrying about themselves and not other things. What, what do you think is going to be different about this game as you get on the field and as the game starts, say, differently? I mean, because you've been in big games, Bama, SEC title game last week. What do you see is, is going to be different? Nothing. Nothing. Not even exaggerating. It's, it's literally the same game we played last week. We all put out. You're gonna wear a helmet. You're gonna wear shoulder pads. You're gonna wear thigh pads, cleats. It's gonna be the same thing. They, they run the same plays that we've seen all year long. It's nothing new that they do. They didn't create a play from the, from their back pocket that the world haven't seen. It's, it's literally the same thing we've seen. It's all gonna be about doing it on the big stage and don't try not to get too big headed and don't want to be extra and make plays. Just do your job. What about the, the big stage, though? I mean, is this something you've always dreamed about? Did you think you'd be here when you signed here? Or? Um, of course, of course. But kind of as I got here, kind of wasn't being, it wasn't the big picture to me. It's about focusing on now and just playing the next game. Then all everything else is going to play out in itself. I mean, lucky that we're down the street playing the home game, you know, so just really playing in our favor. So, I mean, thankfully that we're in this situation. Do you think it took Grant a little bit of time this year to kind of adjust to the, all the attention that he was getting? Obviously, he came to the year and he just wanted to win a national championship, but it seemed like at times maybe it affected him in certain ways that he wanted to do. He wanted to live up to the way he played last year, and it's hard to do that when you have a unanimous All American season. I don't think that was the case for him. Yeah. I really, it's 100% healthiness. I mean, when you go out there and you're not as 100% healthy, you think about that injury and you think about your ability. So you think about as you're going to approach from 20 yards deep to make a play, he's like, man, I know I can't plant on this ankle like I want to, or on this leg like I want to. So when you steady thinking about that, then it kind of goes that way rather than just fully planned. So I think it was about him just mentally, mentally and fully getting back healthy. I mean, I wouldn't say he was 100% healthy. I don't know his health status, but that's all it's about. I mean, once you start kind of getting it out the back of your head and just playing and start letting everything be flow free and everything just start happening. But I feel like at that point, once he had that injury and once he kind of had that little setback, it was kind of on this mental all game or every game to like try not to re-aggravate it or try not to favorite it or something like that. And it was just getting to him. You talking about the ankle injury during the Auburn game? Yes. What point do you think that he was able to get back to the player that he wants to be, the player that he knows he can be like? I feel like he still feel like he's still not there yet. So he feels still like he can improve. I mean, every day you can improve on something. I feel like you never can reach your full maximum potential. There's always something you can get better at. So every day he feel like he can get better. He tells that to me every day. He tells me that he feel like something's missing. So, I mean, I see him work on it. I see sometimes <laughs> after practice he'll probably do some little – Probably some movement drills or something like that to get him back going, but I don't think he's still in, in his eyes back to where he wants to be. Two, two of the best pass rushers on this team, you and Divinity, y'all haven't really played a lot of games together. Um, what what's that going to be like? You know, having him back for the pass rush in particular. It's going to be fanatics. It's going to be great. So now I don't have to really worry about too much pressure on me or anything. Where about chip blocks? If they chip me, then Mike Devine is going to win his one on one regards. I feel like he's going to win nine times out of ten. You know, even though he hasn't been out in the game, he's been working on me. I'm still been working out like crazy. So 
I mean, it's gonna, it's kind of gonna set everything free. So you got two great pass rushers, and even if not, people got to account for us, and then we probably send some other players and watch us drop. So it's gonna, it's gonna work for Natty for the defense. Y'all good?